So it feels like I just installed these the other day, probably more realistically like a week or two ago, but regardless, we're gonna be swapping them out again. channel so in today's video we're gonna be swapping out the grills on the BMW 435 I know I just swapped them out for these carbon fiber style grills like maybe like a week or two ago but there is a reason why I'm changing them again I'll tell you guys more about that later also there's another mod that I want to do to the car that actually has to do with the grills as well so the other mod isn't really about the grill itself but to install that other mod we need to take off the grill so I kind of figured I might as well do that mod and then replace these grills at the same time because it kind of makes sense yeah like I was saying before and also if you guys didn't see in one of my more recent videos this car came with the black M Sport grills so it was a single slit over here and then it was gloss black all around versus like the chrome that these cars normally come with but I swapped them out for these double slit carbon fiber style grills so the reason why I'm actually changing this one out is because one the carbon fiber style honestly guys like it's just not really doing it for me like I kept it on for a little while at first I was a little indifferent I know I only paid like 40 50 bucks for it so I really couldn't expect much but I'm just not crazy about the way it looks and then not only that guys if you saw my most recent video I kind of talked about the new direction that I'm going with with this car and that's forged carbon as you guys can see by this license plate frame over here I know it's a little dark on the side of the car so it's probably a little hard to see so like I also mentioned in that video everything that's carbon fiber style on this car is gonna be swapped out for forged carbon I wanted to get forged carbon for these grills so what I did instead is I actually just got some all black grills that way this carbon fiber style is not going to clash with the forged carbon that I have for the front lip or at least the front lip that I'm going to install hopefully soon and yeah I think all gloss black over here is just going to look really good it's going to look a lot more simple and it's just going to go with anything so with that said let me show you guys the new grill and then also the other mod that I was talking about before all right so here's the new mod that I was talking about we'll actually go into that a little later let me actually just show you guys the new grills first so I'll see if I can do this with one hand but as you guys can see over here it says f32 slash f82 so of course these grills will fit on either 435 or an m4 all right and here it is so as you guys can tell it is all gloss black all around versus this one being gloss black in the center here and then this carbon fiber style on the edge this one is just all gloss black Honestly guys, like I actually think it looks really good. It's pretty simple and clean. So obviously I think if you can get like a real carbon fiber or a real forged carbon, that'll probably look a lot better, but it is pretty cheap. Still only about like 40 bucks off Amazon. So if you guys want this one, I will leave it linked down in the description below. All right, so with that one out of the way, nothing really special. You guys obviously have seen these grills plenty of times. The other mod that I was actually talking about is this right over here. And what it is specifically is actually an air intake scoop. So you guys might've seen something like this before. I know there's one company that makes them. They're a little more round looking. These ones I actually got off of eBay, they're a little cheaper, and they're not plastic, they're actually stainless steel, which is pretty nice, so it feels like it's a little better quality. So of course it does come with two, so this is going to be on the passenger side, and then this one right over here is supposed to be on the driver's side, so it's basically going to sit behind the grill. So if you guys didn't know, there's these little like ducts, I don't know if you can see in the center of the screen right there. Uh, basically the air will go through there and then of course to your air intake so the purpose of this is to kind of like sit against it like this and capture the air that's going straight and push it to the side to the air intake thus improving the performance of the car of course so that's the theory with these air intake scoops but I'll be honest with you guys like I don't know how much that's actually gonna work I mean I'm sure it will to an extent but if you guys can see it has this like little cutout over here so you might lose a little air over there and then overall I'm just not really sure how much of a difference it will make but the thing is it looks cool so <laughs> that's the reason why I'm doing it so obviously this one is red guys you can get in different colors if you guys do want it I'll leave this also linked down in the description below. I got it off eBay. The seller, when I bought it, they actually contacted me and they asked me what color I wanted. Uh, so I told them red. And then also, if you guys notice, when you go to the page, these things do come with a sticker on it, which I just wasn't a fan of. It looked a little colorful. And honestly, I just don't like to have logos on my car. So when I told them I wanted red, I actually also mentioned that I don't want any stickers. And I didn't really expect them to respond to that. But they were like, okay, red with no stickers. And I was like, all right, cool. So I guess they did it. And obviously, as you guys can tell, mine does not have any stickers. It does still have this cutout over here. But I mean, it is what it is. It's obviously not like a huge sticker down the middle over here, which you're obviously going to see behind the grill. So if you guys end up getting this from the link down below, feel free to ask the seller to not include the stickers on it. These are also about like 50 bucks or so. The other company that sells them also makes in carbon fiber, which looks really cool, but it's just really expensive for something that's going to sit behind the grill. They also make a plastic one, which is about like 50, 60 bucks, but this one's at least stainless steel. But the thing is, guys, with this is I'm a little skeptical because I don't really know how this is going to install on the car. So the way that it's supposed to go in is if you guys can tell, it has these little holes on the top and the bottom and they also include some hardware literally just like normal screws and I guess it's supposed to screw into the car but the thing that I'm struggling with is like I don't know if there's already screw holes in the car already 
and if there isn't I really don't want to have to drill into the car so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna test this out I'm gonna see how it actually installs there's obviously no videos about this because this really isn't that common they look cool and I think the red behind the black grill is gonna look awesome but it's just not worth drilling into the car for me but regardless to install them we're gonna have to take off these grills and since I'm taking these ones off what I'll do is replace them with the new ones so at least today won't be a total waste alright guys so with all that said we're actually gonna start installing all this stuff this is not gonna be a super detailed tutorial on how to install the grills in my last video I actually went in detail so I'm not gonna do it again if you guys do want an in-depth tutorial definitely go check out that last video this one I'm just gonna put you guys on a time-lapse So as you saw, just like that, we got the grills off. Honestly, this time around, it was so much easier. One, because I didn't have to stop during every step. And then two, because I've done it before. So what I think I'm gonna do really quickly, because I didn't do it last time, is actually clean up over here behind the grills, since they're off anyways. And then we're gonna start trying to install uh, those air intake scoops. All right, so we did get this semi-clean. Uh, it's not perfect. All I had was literally just like a dirty cloth not even any cleaning materials, but it definitely looks better. So originally I thought this would be the driver's side, guys. Uh, I don't really know why I thought that. It just kind of made sense that this is the bottom and that's the top, but I uh, just trying to put this in, like it just does not fit. One, it doesn't fit. And then two, there's no screw holes. Like, like I said, I'm pretty sure they expect this to drill into the bumper, or at least like the plastic of the bumper over here. So I think if I flip it and try to put it like on this side over here, it might fit a little better. It's even still a pain to get in, guys. Like this thing is, I don't know see like that that feels like it works better because it's at least you know giving the crossbar a little bit of space but still though like you're gonna have to drill into this thing and I mean it does look cool but I don't want to let go because I don't want it to fall inside the bumper because then I'll really be screwed but uh, overall guys I think we're gonna have to scratch this one like it's cool and I'm sure it works to an extent but it's just not worth drilling into the bumper for me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Yeah, I don't know guys, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna scratch it. Uh, the good thing is today isn't completely wasted. We're still gonna install the new grills. The other company makes them and I saw someone install them and they look a lot easier to install. They actually just go into that plastic piece that already is there. You don't actually need to drill or screw anything in unlike these ones here but anyways guys uh let's just continue installing these new grills sorry i couldn't show you guys that uh kind of a letdown but it is what it is you want some you lose some. So we're gonna keep on moving forward so let's uh install these gloss black grills by the way guys if anybody wants these ones here i don't know if i can return them so i'll definitely be willing to sell them i bought them for like 40 50 bucks ish but if anybody wants them just dm me yeah let's now install these ones So just like that, we're all set. New grills are on. Uh, I gotta say guys, like honestly, these gloss black ones look really, really good. Like I actually think they look way better than these ones here. Like this fake carbon just wasn't doing it for me. Oh, by the way guys, I did also get some glossy black grills for the X3 as well. So we'll finally be able to get rid of like this weird color here. So if you guys do wanna see that video as well, definitely stay tuned for that. That's coming soon. So this video was kind of a fail, kind of a win. Uh, we failed on those intake scoops, but the gloss black grills are honestly a huge win. I think they look really, really good on the car. It's gonna go really well with the forged carbon front lip which I do have coming guys I am gonna install that the PPF did get delayed unfortunately what I might end up doing honestly is just holding off on the PPF basically just installing that front lip and then maybe I'll put some PPF on later because I really really want to install that front lip so I'm hoping maybe I can install that this weekend so definitely stay tuned for a video about that anyways if you guys enjoyed this video drop me a like drop me a comment guys and lastly if you're not already make sure you hit that subscribe button anyways I'll catch you guys in the next one peace